So this is our VIP call. This is our first one. I would love to keep doing these calls. If this helps people, if everybody feels like questions get answered, I would, I would be up for doing these once a month. Um, Cause I know that so many questions come up, especially since like I have like, these are the questions that you guys have been asking. Hi, Emily. Emily is my next door neighbor. And she's literally like, I could probably see her house from here. <laughs> um, but yeah, like you guys don't like, I hand wrote some of them and then I was like, no, I'm just gonna like copy and paste them and print them out. Um, but the first thing that we have to do is everybody who submitted a question, I have your name here in a super high tech thing. So we are going to do a raffle to kick things off. So somebody's gonna win just a little goodie bag um, from me, doesn't matter who it is, I'll send it out. Um, and I'll just have you, if I don't already have your mailing address, just send me a message with your mailing address and I'll put something in the mail for you. Um, so here we go. People will straggle in like Tabitha. Hi, Tabitha. All right, the winner of the raffle is <laughs> Tabitha. You're the winner. Winner, winner. <laughs> Congratulations. That's exciting. Okay, so Tabitha, I will send you a little goodie something. Wonderful. Um, you're frozen, but that's okay. Okay. That's all right. Um, so Tabitha, I'll send you something. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and mute everybody. So what I want to do for now is just, I'm gonna go through and start answering questions that came in from the chat, that came, not the chat, that came in from the comments of the posts. Um, if you have a question as I'm going through these and you need uh, clarification, um, Go ahead and type it in the con in the chat box. Um, I'm sure, like we're all Zoom fluent, right? Everybody's Zoom fluent. Give me thumbs up if you're Zoom fluent. <laughs> okay. If anybody doesn't really, okay, we're good. Okay. So just type it in the chat if you need clarification, and then I'll try and give us like a couple minutes at the end just for like some extra questions that come in. So what I want to do is. Um, I'm gonna start like at the beginning of things. Okay, so the first question that came in was, how do you take measurements? Okay, so the best way to do that, and I always recommend taking measurements, photos, I know it's scary. I like, I know it's the worst thing on earth to like stand in front of your mirror in a sports bra and your shorts and take a picture, but you don't have to show it to anybody. But I think it's really important to do it for yourself because you are embarking on a journey. And this journey is something that is going to be, it's going to change your life from here on out. And it's so amazing. Like I have a picture of me six weeks postpartum that nobody sees, but me. Okay. <laughs> and I can look back at that and say, oh my gosh, look how far I've come. And it's inspiring to see the changes, not just like the physical changes, but I know that there's some mental changes in there that have happened too. So it, it's important to take your before photos, to take your measurements, to take your weight, all of those things play into it, but then don't just use those things. Um, you know, think about your, how your energy is, how your pants are fitting, you know, how, because even if the number on the scale doesn't change, your measurements are going to change. Your pants are going to fit better. Your mindset's going to be better. You're going to, you know, be more clear, more excited, all the things. Okay. So how do you take measurements <laughs> is the question. Um, if you go into the program materials for 21 day fix on beach body on demand and you go it's it's like the start here guide for 21 day fix um i could actually well i don't think i have it up uh yeah i'll share my screen and i'll show you exactly where it is um so that you can see what it looks like where let's see i'm gonna oh, nope that's not it all right, uh, we are going to go here. Can you guys all see my screen? Thumbs up. Each body on a man. 
this is why this is going to take forever because I like to give you guys all the information and there's a hundred thousand questions and so like I said like whatever I don't get to I'll go live in the group I will answer questions um make sure that all of your questions get answered because this is all really super important um okay of course everything's gonna take forever okay and then we're gonna go to search and we're gonna go to 21 day fix. First one that comes up. And this is a really good place to start. If you don't have like the nutrition bundle, like so like if you just have a Beach Body on Demand trial and you need some sort of nutrition help, this program whether it, this one says real time, it doesn't matter which one it is, but you come down here to program materials. This has all the information about the nutrition, all like all of it. This is, this is the original containers program. Ultimate portion fix has been expanded upon. And so it, it expands on this program right here, this 21 day fix. So this is the start here guide. And so this is also where you're gonna go for, um, the measurements. So you scroll down to page four. Step one, take your before photos and measurements. Okay, so it shows you here. Let me see if I can get that out of the way. Oh no. There we go. Okay. Um, so if you look at this, this little deal here, this is what you measure. You measure your chest. So day one, you're going to fill in this thing here. Chest, right arm, left arm, waist, hips, right thigh, left thigh. Um, and it shows you here where, where it is that you should be measuring. If you want, you can take additional measurements. Some people like you can measure like your, you know, your neck, like sometimes people will lose weight in their face, which, you know, you can see in photos, but it's like, oh my gosh, I lost an inch on my neck. Like that's insane. You know, other things too, like your, obviously your, so your chest, you can, you can measure a couple different places. As women, we can measure our, you know, our band or we can measure our actual bust. It's totally up to you. You can measure both because, you know, you might, unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on who you are, you might, you know, lose cup sizes and also lose inches around your band size. So that's up to you if you want to measure both. It just gives you more data. Um, but again, your waist, like that's your real waist. That's like right at your belly button. Um, and then your hips as well. So for me, hips, I kind of, I try and get like the widest part of my butt. That's really where your hips is. Um, and then your thigh, um, I wear the same pair of shorts and I measure at the bottom of the short line every time I measure. So it's, it's important to kind of try and try and get the same place every time. Um, so again, this start here guide for 21 day fix is really, really important for, this is how you determine a super quick way to determine like your calorie goal, what plan you're in for the containers, all of that. Um, again, this is if you're not, if you don't have access to the 2B mindset and the ultimate portion fix options. Okay, so that is measurements. Um, the next thing, there was a question about Shakeology servings. Um, is a bag of Shakeology a full month? Because it looks like more. It is a full month. And it's going to be one serving per day um, in a shake. I sometimes I'll mix mine up as pudding. It's really tasty. Um, and I will, uh, yeah, like, you know, add whatever you want to it. Like if you need recipes, there's an entire recipe um, guide in the, it's pinned. It's like an announcement in the group. If you need, you know, ideas for how to make your Shakeology. Um, so yes, it is a full serving, a serve, one serving a day for 30 days. Um, that's if you get the bag. If you get a box, you get 24 packets. So I always encourage people to get the bag because you're going to get more. Unless there's some reason, like if you're on the go all the time, if you need the little packets, get, get the box of packets. You can either get three different flavors or all one flavor. It's all the same. Um, but you just get fewer servings. Um, there was another question about Shakeology, which was, is it good for somebody who's diabetic or pre-diabetic? Talk to your doctor first. That's my suggestion. But 
I do want you to know that it is considered low on the glycemic index. It does have a really good ratio of fiber and protein, low sugars. And so most people that I've talked to who are either pre-diabetic or have diabetes, who are drinking Shakeology, their doctors have said, yes, this is great. But in every situation, always talk to your doctor if you have any questions about your specific situation. Um, but this is just kind of generally, they've designed it to be low glycemic. Um, it's a, has a very low amount, hi Ann Margaret, has a very low amount of um, uh, added sugars um, and it is slower to metabolize in your system. So it's not gonna spike your blood sugar. So for that reason, it is really good for somebody who does struggle with blood sugar. Um, okay, there was a question. What do you count when you are, so this is on like the general nutrition. Oh, hold on, I see some chat. Okay. Um, when you are trying to figure out how to eat better, what do you count? Do you count carbs? Do you count calories? Um, do you count fat? So the question basically, so the answer to that is it depends. <laughs> so I will say that these programs, so ult ultimate portion fix, which is expanded upon the 21 day fix portion container system, um, I'm going to talk about ultimate portion fix and to be mindset just because they're the most um, comprehensive. So when you go through the calculations for ultimate portion fix, which is the containers, um, that is more of like it, it. The great thing about it is it calculates everything for you. So all you do is you go through that. I'm going to share my screen again real quick just to remind you what it looks like. Um, which is this here, this determine your eating plan. You're gonna go through this really basic calculation, which is your weight times 11, take that number, add 400, and that's your maintenance. That's how you exist as a human every day. That's how your heart beats and your brain functions. Um, and you have the energy to like get out of bed in the morning and do your job. And then if you wanna lose weight, you take away 750 calories. That's your target for the day. And really, I like to think about it as this number, this calorie target times seven over the course of a week. So some days you might eat a little bit more, some days you might eat a little bit less, but you wanna be in this range of calories. And that's again, why each of these plans give you a range. So like 1200 to 1500 calories is plan A, 15 to seven or 1800 is plan B. Um, and then, so, so that's the calorie target that we're going for. Whatever calorie target you fall into there, it's a range of calories. So, cause it's impossible to eat only like, I'm only going to eat exactly 1500 calories every day. So it's really, really important to remain flexible um, and to, but to follow the program. And so what the program does is it gives you the containers. So it, it gives you, it breaks up the macronutrients for you. So the main macronutrients are proteins, fats, and carbs. Um, this program is based on what's called balanced macronutrients. And so it's 40% carbs, 40% fat, 30% protein. Um, and you're going to look at that and you're gonna be like, well, I only get one blue container and I only get three yellow containers. So how is that balanced? It's because there are carbohydrates in vegetables and in fruits. You get separate containers for fruits and vegetables. There's also fat in things like protein. Um, there's even a little bit of fat, like if you really break down and look at the macronutrients, there's fat in some fruits, there's fat in vegetables, there's proteins in fruits, there's proteins in vegetables. So this, you, we don't have to do that calculation, which is great. The program has done it for us. So if you follow the macronutrient guide for ultimate portion fix, it does all of that complicated stuff for you. Um, and so just follow the containers. If you want something that's a little bit less uh, 
restrict, not restrictive, that's not a good word to use, something that's a little less complicated. <laughs> um, basically, if you're somebody who has a family and you want to be able to eat with your family, um, or you just don't like the idea of you know, tracking individual containers and you want to see it on your plate, 2B mindset is the way to go. That's the one I've been doing um, since probably September. And it's really, um, it's, it accomplishes the same thing, but instead of having to fill up little containers, you are putting it on your plate and it tells you, okay, at breakfast, you're going to have 50% of your breakfast is carbs and 50% is protein. And she does a great job of explaining everything, you know, and she's got these rules, like you drink a ton of water, basically like drink a bunch of water, eat your vegetables first, weigh yourself every day and track your meals. And that's like, she calls it the two buddies, bunnies. So you have one, two, three, and four. Those are your four rules. Um, and so if you if you feel like you're not enjoying the containers, check out To Be Mindset. Um, it might be a better fit for you. Um, another question, I think Tabitha, you asked this question about healthy fats. Um, so why is the healthy fat in ultimate portion pick the same for all brackets? I struggle understanding why the healthy fat portions are so low, or at least they seem so to me. So part of that is because, um, there's fat in other foods and this program takes that into account. So if you are looking at, you know, your meats, um, or your proteins, there's fat in dairy, there's fat in, so there's some dairy that is considered a protein and some dairy that's considered a blue container cheese considered a blue container, sadly. But, you know, cottage cheese, like low-fat cottage cheese, that's considered a red container. Um, milk, um, what other dairy, yogurt, things like that. Those are considered proteins, um, but there is some fat in them. And so the program takes that into calculation. So when they created this, everybody gets one blue and one orange. And then the way that they adjust it for the different calorie brackets is the teaspoons. And the reason for that is because of the other macronutrients that exist in cheese, avocados, um, you know, the, the dressing container is nuts. So you get fiber in those, you get um, protein in the avocado, you get, surprisingly, you get protein in the cheese. Um, so those are their own um, container. Those are their own containers. And then specifically for the purpose of adding fat and calories into a meal plan. So as it goes up from A to F, you just add in tables or you add in teaspoons of things like olive oil, peanut butter, like those are almost completely just strictly fat calories. Um, and so that's why. Um, I saw a question from Jordana. Yeah, so if you're doing, hi, if you're doing to be mindset, it is important to use the scale as a tool of measurement. If you don't have a scale, that's okay. Um, it's just, it's, it's recommended because um, it will tell, it, it's, it's the quickest way to see your results. Um, and it's the only reason that it's not necessarily like take your measurements every day. Measurements take longer, I guess. Um, and she wants you to have just a really super quick step on the scale in the morning, get an idea of how you did yesterday, use it as data. She teaches you how to kind of disassociate that negative mindset around the scale, which is probably why you asked that question. <laughs> exactly. Thank you. <laughs> But that's a big, Thank you. Part, yeah, that's a big part of it. Like it teaches you how to use a scale as a tool instead of a way to beat yourself up. Instead of a punishment. Right. <laughs> yes, exactly. So Thank does you. that help? Absolutely. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's a, it's a great program. I, I love it. I love that program. They're both amazing for different reasons. I'm just at a point in my life right now that it works for you. It's, yeah, it's working better for me. So I, I recommend, I recommend everybody give it a try. You, you might be surprised. And if you're doing to be mindset, I would suggest, you know, checking out the, the ultimate portion pick as well. Thank you. Um, one more thing to add about the to be mindset, uh, jumping on the scale. Part of that program is tracking through a, like a journal, your foods. And part of that is learning how, like, if you ate something the night before, how that affects 
um, your weight, not necessarily in like in the mindset of like, I'm, I weigh more, but I ate this and it affects my water content in my body and how you learn about foods affecting each person individually. And um, noting all intake was part of recovery for me. So I totally see now that you mention it, the uh, relation. Yeah, so absolutely. thank you both for answering that question. Yeah, of course. And that's a great question because that comes up a lot because so many people are like, I want to throw my scale out the window or they have. <laughs> so, um, but it, it's, it's important. I mean, it, it's not only isn't it important form of data to collect, but it's a good way to gauge your progress as somebody who sees switching from food as, you know, I have to restrict food in order to lose weight. It becomes food fuels my body. I love my body no matter what happens because it does amazing things for me. Sometimes the scale goes up and that's a natural part of life. I mean, we're all women here. We all have, you know, maybe we don't all have a cycle, but throughout the month, things change. And that's a natural part of being a woman. Um, this brings me to another point. There was a question that I'm going to do a live specifically to answer the question, how does or should your period influence nutrition and exercise? Because I could talk on that all night long. Um, I have so much to say about that. So I'm gonna do a live in the group to specifically answer that one question. Um, are we good on scale? All good, thank you. Okay, um, one more thing about um, the containers. Okay, so the question is, I follow the original 21 day fixed portion control plan and I've been going through the ultimate portion control materials and read about the calorie depletion days. Can you explain how and what the benefits are to that? Uh, Chris, I think that was you. Um, did you mean carb depletion days? I can't hear you. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay, good. That's what I thought. Okay. So the way this works, um, carb depletion, there is, there's something in ultimate portion fix and it's called a carb depletion program. This program is only to be used if you are getting ready to go on vacation, you have an event coming up and you have three weeks and you want to just, or it's like the end of a program and you want to have the best results ever. The only reason you're going to use this is only for three weeks, only once or twice a year, because it restricts your carbohydrate intake and it causes your body to lose water weight. Um, the way this works, I'm going to get a little bit sciencey here because it's really important to understand that you cannot do this long-term. Um, and you cannot do this frequently because it will eventually start to mess with things like your hormones, your way your brain works, like it's not recommended. So basically what this is, is you have um, a form of, of, of carbohydrates in your muscles called glycogen. Glycogen comes from carbohydrates that, that you eat. So, you know, fruits, grains, all those things. Um, glyc the glycogen molecule contains water. And so it's a fuel for your muscles. And when you carb cycle, you, you drop weight because part of that is your muscles don't have as much glycogen in them. Um, and so you're, you're losing weight more quickly, but a lot of that is water weight. So you might do this program and lose, you know, an additional five pounds and then gain two pounds back. So it, it causes you to eat really, really clean because you're eating basically protein, vegetables, and healthy fats for two days on and then one day of like the portion fix, just regular containers. So you rotate, you have two days of carb cycling, one day of portion fix, two days of carb cycling, one day of portion fix. Um, and so it causes just the way that your body uses carbs to change. So things that can happen though, is you might get brain fog. You might be really fatigued. You might have like really intense cravings for things like carbohydrates. So this is a more challenging meal plan and it's kind of designed, it's originally it was designed by Autumn when she was doing her bikini 
com competition, which is a very, very, very intense um, lifestyle. <laughs> and people who are, you know, bikini models, they don't do that all the time. They have a very strict thing that they do. That's what this is, was designed for. And so when I did um, 80 day obsession, I followed the nutrition plan. We had like refeed days to actually, we ate extra carbs on specific days after doing the program for a specific amount of time to refuel the glycogen in our system. And then the last week of the program was called peak week where we depleted the, the glycogen in our bodies. We did the carb cycling. Um, it was, it was intense, but I got great results. But then like, then you have to stop. <laughs> so that's, that's essentially what carb cycling is. Um, so yeah, so it's designed, it's again, not sustainable long-term. It's designed to be done for three weeks. And then you go back to eating your normal portion fix carbs. Um, when you do it, if you decide to do it, it's really important to pick foods. So like in the ultimate portion fix, there's the food lists really important to pick foods from the top third of the food lists because those foods are much, much more dense in nutrients. Um, and when you're not eating as much of a variety, you're not eating as many fruits and carbohydrates, you want to be able to still get the nutrients that you need, um, even if you're not eating all the foods that you would eat on a normal day. Um, so that is that one. Does that answer your question, Chris? Oh, I just you moved. There you go. Okay, good. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Um, let me see if there's any more. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Let's move on to things like cravings and eating out and traveling. Okay. Because those are fun things. Okay. So the first thing, uh, oh, first, this is important. What counts as water intake? Does coffee, does energize, does bevy? Anybody want to offer an answer? Yes. Water? Yes. Water. <laughs> so all of those other things, yes, they are liquids, but they do not act like water in your system. Even um, sparkling water. Uh, you can have you can have some sparkling water, but really still water hopefully filtered. If it's tap water, that's okay too. But water alone is the only thing that you should be counting towards your water goal for the day. And then it's fine to drink other things too, but you, you can't like replace three liters of water with three liters of coffee. I'm really sorry. <laughs> Real quick question. Uh, you mentioned sparkling water. Mm -hmm. um, not my favorite thing ever, but my husband drinks a lot of it and thinks it's the same. It's, it's not the same as regular water, right? It's not, it's not. Okay. It's, yeah, it's I didn't carbonated think so. and so they add, I mean, they have to add something into it. Basically it changes the pH of it. It changes, yeah. you know, there's other minerals and things in it, which, which are okay. It's fine to drink it. It's not, it's not bad, you know, as long as it doesn't have artificial, the biggest thing is if he's drinking something sparkling, make sure it's either plain or something like Mio, not, not Mio. Um, he likes the bubbly water and yeah, like, every once in a while I'll drink those too. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Which I really hate. B U B L Y. That bubbly. I'm sorry. Is that the one that's spelled B U B L Y? That bubbly. Yeah. Word? Okay. Probably yeah. Just check the ingredients. Make sure there's nothing artificial in it. Make sure there's not, you know, sucralose, aspartame, any of those artificial sweeteners in it, because uh, those can do scary things to your body if you drink a lot of those. Um, so I mean, I just prefer straight water or black coffee. So. Good. Well, you're or like tequila. The game. Oh, that's it. That's okay. It's fine. You know, counts as half a half a yellow container. <laughs> Maybe a full one. I'm not sure. Um, okay. Um, okay. So things like cravings and all that kind of stuff. So the, some some one of the questions was um, where is it? Um, okay. Basically, like how do you deal with cravings? Um, this sounds boring, but drink, drink more water. Sometimes when you think you're hungry, your body says I'm thirsty and your brain interprets it as I'm hungry or your brain, your body says I'm thirsty and your brain says I'll have a Reese's. <laughs> I mean, that's what happens. It happens to me all the time. Um, drink a lot of water, drink more water than, than you think 
you need. Um, especially if you're exercising, especially as we're getting into warmer weather. Um, if you live in a dry climate, you know, drink more water, drink just, there's no, you can't go wrong with more water. I mean, people are like, you can OD on water, but that's like for people who drink, you know, like four or five gallons and flush all the electrolytes out of their system and go into a coma. So I don't think anybody is at risk of that. Um, so ways, other ways that you can work on your cravings. Some of these are quick and, you know, quick fix. Drink some water, drink lemon water. Um, bevy is great. Um, if it's mid afternoon and you're tired, like the new Bevy just came out, which is basically like this mental boost with cravings. Uh, it's like a cravings buster tea. It's got um, fiber in it. Fiber keeps you full. It's got brewer's yeast peptides, which helps um, kind of, you know, calm down your sweet tooth appetite. Uh, and then I completely based on the other ingredient. Um, I don't remember, but uh, the new one, they added in the, there's like a, um, a mushroom adaptogen blend from the Shakeology focused energy boost. And that helps with mental clarity and mental focus. And there's a little bit of caffeine. Um, and it's just really, I'm waiting for mine to come in the mail. I'm like stocking my UPS or FedEx uh, tracking. Um, but it's going to be awesome. But Bevy, I have Bevy. I drink that sometimes in the afternoons. Um, and it works re it works well. It works really well. You can drink it cold or hot. Um, tea after dinner. So like if you're somebody who is really used to having dessert and you want to stop having dessert, I know it sounds like boring, 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 but it helps. It does really help. Make some tea. You can have honey in it. That's okay. You know, mint tea with honey or sleepy time or, you know, something to just kind of give you something to hold and put in your mouth that's not going to throw you off of your, um, you know, your, your goals for the day, for the week. Um, the other way to approach cravings is sometimes we have cravings for emotional reasons. Um, maybe we are really used to eating at certain times. Maybe we are not hungry, but maybe we are eating because we are bored, because we are frustrated, because we don't want to feel what we're feeling. And this is a much different approach. This is where you have to do some soul searching and do some journaling and pause and say, why do I want to eat this? Is it because my stomach is hungry or is it because I'm trying to numb a feeling that's happening? And what is that feeling and why am I feeling it and why don't I want to feel it? So that's kind of those are the two things that cravings come from. It's like, you know, maybe you're accustomed to eating dessert after dinner. And so your body's like, okay, here we go. And your brain is like, I would like that. And your stomach says, let's go. But, you know, the new you says, I have eaten all of my yellow containers for the day. And, or to be mindset, Alana Molstein has said, dinner and done, find other fun. <laughs> um, so just, you know, find other ways to, satisfy that, you know, have a piece of fruit. Like we can all stand eat more fruit. Fruit has so many good nutrients. Um, it's okay so, um, to ease into it. Uh, Tabitha, I saw you had a question. Do you containerize the beach body drinks? Okay. So, um, yes and no, depends what program you're doing <laughs> to be mindset. Um, Bevy, you can have two bevies a day, doesn't count towards anything. Um, ultimate portion fix, two, let me think, two bevies is equal to, I think I want to say that she said it was half of a yellow. I'm going to have to look that up. Where's my pen? <sighs> I don't know what my pen is. Okay, I'll look that up for you though. Um, energize. It's a freebie. You take it before your workout, you burn it off. Recover is a freebie. You take it after your workout, you burn it off. Shakeology counts as one red container. Um, any of the performance, as long as you are exercising, the performance products are freebies because you, they are, you, they're not used to fulfill a calorie need. They're used to fix 
your muscles, give you energy to burn, heal your muscles, give your body, give your muscles the glycogen, you know, restore the glycogen in your muscles. So that's, that's how they design them. Even though it says like, I don't know, 130 calories or something, your body will utilize that in a different way, as long as you take it according to how the um, information on the packaging tells you to take it. Good. Have they said anything about the focus? It'll be the same as Bevy. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, so like I think one, like on Ultimate Portion Fix, you can have one Bevy a day and it doesn't count towards anything. If I remember correctly, but I will look that up for you. Um, we have like, I'm sorry, we have like two minutes left. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go live in the group with everything else. Um, I see some sad faces. I'm really glad that you guys really enjoyed this because I love this. I, I just, I love to talk about all this stuff. Um, does anybody need clarification on anything? Okay, that's awesome. Um, I'm really excited. This has like been so much fun. Can I take a picture? Can everybody like turn on their camera real quick and I'll take a picture. Okay, not everybody's turn. As long as you don't broadcast my face, because I don't know what's going on here. So <laughs> stays in the group, right? <laughs> All right. I'm going to take a picture. Everybody smile. Big cheese. Awesome. Okay. Well, I'm really thrilled. I will do this again because you guys seem to love it. I hope. Hopefully you're not just hundred percent. Yes, please. Good. Okay. Let's try and do one of these a month. Um, I think it's valuable and I hope that it's helping. Um, and all good. All right. Thanks you guys for hopping on. I'm so afraid I was going to talk to myself all night. <laughs> all righty. Sounds good. All right. I'll let you guys know when the next one is and see you soon. Bye. Thank you, Alana. You're welcome. Thank you. Sorry. I was late guys. Thank you all.